Good afternoon, everyone. I am back in the hot seat and hopefully pulling some big hits for you and pick your team number seven of 2018 Bowman Baseball on Thursday. Good to see everybody. There's Darren D-Mac with the Angels, Jen with the Last Spot Mojo. There's everybody else. Thanks for joining. This is Jumbo Edition, so it's eight boxes. This moves a little bit more quickly than the... Uh, than the hobby edition, and not only that, there are three autographs per box in this one, so there is a lot to see. So good luck, everybody. There we go. Good luck, boys and girls. Let's pop this open. I think the uh, someone was telling the cost. The cost of uh, Bowman baseball has has skyrocketed, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of places they they have they have tripled. Triple the, the box price. That's what they're. That's what those. That's what they're charging anyway. So it has been crazy. Jen, Jen saying, if Last Spot Mojo fails you, you need a Joe autograph. You know what? For you, Jen. Yeah, yeah. I'll get. I'll get a Joe auto. I'll even draw a fish on there. I'll, I'll even draw it on this is Garrett Cooper. I don't know who Garrett Cooper is. <laughs> Watch, he turns out to be like a Hall of Famer. And you're like, damn it, Joe. You put your name all over it. But on May 3rd, 2018, who are we to know, Jen? Who are we to know? All right. Here we go, folks. Good luck. Oh, you want a Joe Auto too, Tyler T? Well, Jen just Jen just took the took the one auto request of the week. 008 out of 150, maybe next week. I mean, I can't, I can't sign too many things. Otherwise, the value of it goes down. <laughs> you know, the 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 incredible value of my autographs. It go down. You don't want that to happen. It's Colby Aller to 150. The Otani going to Darren. There's Mike Sharwin, who's got who's got my uh, who's got my birthday. He plays a little bit of the saxophone as well. 35 out of 250. That'll go to the Red Sox. That'll go to Tyler T with the first autograph of this break. Uh, Rory with the Colby Allard out of 150.
in case you were wondering, folks, we've only, we've only seen two autographs. There's Derek. We've only seen two Otani autographs, and they were base autos as well. There's Derek Hall for the Phillies. Um, and that was in, and we found both of those um, Otani autographs in a single case last week. But since then, and we've opened up dozens of boxes since then, since then, we have not seen another Otani autograph. So is that a, it's probably a good thing, actually, odds wise. There's only a finite amount of cases in the world, right? The more cases where we don't see an Otani autograph increases the odds that it will be there in the next case. However small those odds may be, but hey, it's still better than before. It's just a matter of who is the lucky recipient of that shift in odds. And there's my boy Kybert Ruiz for DC and the Dodgers. Big name in the hobby, or big name in the, for the Dodgers anyway. to work on that autograph a little bit. But it's supposed to be a big name for the Dodgers coming up the ranks. Guys like him and we'll see, I'm sure we'll see Will Smith, the other Dodgers catching prospect at some point in this break too. But those guys will spell the uh, probably spell the end of nice refractor too, of y Yasmani Grandal's run with the Dodgers, even though he's hitting really well this season. Oh, is that right? Nice. TJ, reporting from Tulsa, home of the Dodgers AA team, the Tulsa Drillers. TJ, of course, works for the Drillers. Says, Will Smith just hit a homer. That's what I like to hear. Out of 499, there's Kybert Ruiz, another one for DC and the Dodgers. There's Noah Syndergaard for the Metropolitans. That'll go to Jeremy Merle. And of course, DMAC with the Otani. All of these will be sleeved up and uh, top loaded, or they'll be all top loaded, that is. Before they get shipped out, of course. That will save just in case. Oh, by the way, John was mentioning in the chat earlier that he said, did you guys notice that a bunch of those, speaking of Otani autographs, that a bunch of those Otani autographs on the bay right now are being relisted? Uh, John is speculating, what could it be? Could it be shill bidders trying to drive up the price and then not pay so it shows it's selling for X amount? I could see that. I could also see people... Well, no, maybe I couldn't actually. <laughs> I take that back. I was gonna say I could say. I mean, maybe I could though. Actually, there could be some trolls out there who are just like go through the trouble of setting up a eBay account and then you know, salty people who don't have an Otani autograph bidding up on the price and then just not paying. They're just going MIA. I could see that too, actually. A little bit of both. A little bit of column A. A little bit of column B. A little bit of legit people who are, who suddenly get cold feet. They have the money, but then they're like, wait a second. <laughs> That's the blessing and the curse of having such a big hit like that. I don't know if you're, if you're talking at price points that are over the cost of many new cars. I think at some point you kind of have to be like, well, you know, at some point, you gotta have to sell it through a, a a like an auction house, like some sort of auction agency. You know what I mean? Because at those price points, you want serious buyers. So I think I think you maybe maybe you you give away a lot of more of the money, but at least you can secure. 
better odds for a final sale. If you're talking about that price point, you might as well have that thing graded too. We're slabbed or protected in a certain way. Jorge Mateo to 125 for the A's. More Otani. And Adbert Alzale. One of the Cubs' big pitching prospects for EA. And the Cubbies. That's our first of three autographs in this box. Next stack here. And there's Sean Murphy. For the Oakland A's, TJ with the A's. 004 out of 499. Austin Hayes, rookie auto for the O's. That'll go to Karen. Karen and the Orioles. DJ Stewart out of four ninety nine. Ooh, and a red. Jorge Mateo. Look at that. Two out of five for the former Yankees prospect. That goes to TJ and the Oakland A's. Look at that. That's a nice one. That's what he's all about. Hey, you're welcome, TJ. Yeah, just have to find the one of one to finish off that rainbow after that pretty easily after that. Jorge Mateo, all aboard the Big Ed Express. Whoop, whoop. Who knows, maybe we have the Super Fractor. Or if it's on the bay, go buy it. I feel like if you get a super fractor from us folks, especially in a set like especially in a set like this, if you get a super fractor and out of five, like you almost have to just start the rainbow. Whether you like the player or not or no player or not. It's a good it's a good set building quest. Yu Chen Chang out of 499, refractor for the tribe. And oh, do we get three already? Yeah, we did. And that is that. Oh, right, yeah. Well, there is the. There's a one out of 20. Did I hit you out of 199 earlier, too? Oh, I got you the chrome out of 125, that is. Screw it, TJ. We're going to start the rainbow today. We're starting, we're starting the rainbow today, right now, in this case. Bam. Rainbow time. Was, it, was there a chrome one?
like a regular like base chrome. I don't know. Maybe we'll find one. We've got like six boxes to go. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Rory says he thought about doing it with the, the Lutz Super that we got him a little while ago. It was going to cost you 1500 more? Jeez. I don't know. Actually, Jorge Mateo is supposed to be a decent prospect too, right? So, yeah, that might, that might be a financially prohibitive activity <laughs> then. We'll just have to find the super factor in this case. What are the odds of the super and the and, and an out of five being in here? Otani. Let's put this up here. All right, TJ. I'll see you. Good luck, folks. Next box. See the jumbo, as I'm sure you're seeing, breezes breezes by a lot more nicely. There's Juan Soto to 125. There's Otani. Reese Hoskins, Atomic to 150. That's a nice one for the Phillies. That's a Rookie of the Year favorites. Roy favorites, 48 out of 150, Atomic Reese. Right, those are chrome, these are paper. Dominic Smith to four ninety nine. These are paper. These are chrome. The Dominic Smith goes to Jeremy Merle and the Mets. And there's Andres Jimenez, purple paper out of 250. Man with the uh, the man with the best auto in the hobby. Might be in this case too. I still have not seen our autographs yet, so they must be in this stack here. Oh, there we go. JB Bukowskis for the Strohs. That'll go to Karen and the Astros. It's the base auto, JB. Jim Bob. I'm assuming his name is. We got Adrian Morejon, 98 out of 150 blue shimmy shim for the Padres. That'll go to Tyler T. Nice one, Tyler.
And an autograph this time, Tyler. Logan Allen is your auto. The Friars. Not numbered. There he is. A Savvy Southpaw. All right. Got to like Savvy Southpaws. Oh, he came over from the Kimbrel trade. And Mackenzie Gore. Wow. Another Padre for Tyler. Mackenzie Gore is a top five pick. Blue, chrome as well. Third overall even. A top three pick. 89 out of 150. Supposed to be legit. Too legit to quit. Mackenzie Gore. This is who Rory's looking for. Set that aside for a little bit of luck. Try to get Rory back on track. So Tani. All right, next box. Here were the autos. Set these aside here. Next box. Good luck. Just one box away from being halfway there. Oh, we're making some good time here. Make some good time. We might be able to get this done in around an hour. I was thinking hour 15, hour 20 maybe, but it might be a little bit under that, which is good. You can see why I like the jumbo cases. Um, coming up after this is I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing after this. I know these breaks were sold out pretty much. The last two jumbo breaks, or um, sorry, Bowman baseball breaks we did, these were, were breaks that already had sold out beforehand. I see some orders coming in. I'm not sure what they are for. So we'll check those. But visit jazbeeshobbyland.com and start getting into uh, start getting into the action. Really, the only thing that we can't do tonight would be the NT basketball. That drops tomorrow. Everything else is, is fair game. There's Spencer Howard to 499. And we remember, we did get NT football in. So if you want to go with that, you can definitely chip away at that tonight. It's been a little bit since we've done some football. Another Otani paper. There's 
another one for DMAC and the Angels. He won the Angels in the spot random. Let's see if let's see if that pays off. All it takes is one. Victor Arano, 12 out of 50. Gold paper. That card is gold paper. Jeremy Merle with that one. And purple chrome, Travis Lakins. 239 out of 250 for the Red Sox. Tyler T with that one. Nice one, Tyler. Got this paper out of the way. Out of the way, paper. All right, now the next one. Does the uh, does does paper count in a in rainbows? Like maybe I guess so. At least one of them. Might as well. Um, Will I've not seen any cardinals as of yet. At least I don't remember any. I guess the paper would count for the for the paper parallels, right? That would be the a different rainbow. And we've got Bukowskis paper out of four ninety nine. And Dennis Santana, another player who's been doing well for the Dodgers and the Miners. We need more of those guys in the majors. DC. So you got the Kyber Ruiz, and now the Dennis Santana. Nice. Austin Hayes out of 499, refractor autograph for Karen. And the O's. Rookie auto. And Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns for the Brew Crew. That'll go to Tyler T. and the Brewers. And those are your three autographs right there. Now we're looking for parallels, parallelograms. There we go. Now we are officially halfway through the break. There were a few autographs there.
What up, big boys 007 in the house. Need some giants. You know who we have not seen? Out of all the boxes of Bowman baseball we've done, Dave, we have not seen um, the big uh, the big giants name. Helio Ramos, right? I think he's in this set. We have not seen him yet. At all. Jojo Romero, we've seen. Phillies, Jeremy Merle with that one. DC4, what's going on? We got Andrew McCutcheon, 419 out of 499, Giants edition. That'll go to Big Boys 007. And Jaron Kendall for the Dodgers out of 499. Not Kendall Jenner, Jaron Kendall. Not to be confused with. DC, Don with the Dodgers. And Jose Adolis Garcia. Nice atomic refractor autograph for the Redbirds. There you go, Will Werner. Double O two out of one hundred. That's the way to kick things off for the Cardinals. It's our second autograph of this box. Looking for one more in this break. Yeah, Big Boys 007. I was on the DL for a couple days. It's day to day, inactive. Roto World said illness, which was true. Khalil Lee, out of uh, fifty, five out of fifty. That card is gold. Tyler T. Just the just the cold symptoms got to me, but feeling a lot better today. The throat especially. That's really what was what was getting me. And that's the money maker, Big Boy 007. If the throat's got to be in ship shape. Otherwise, I'd have to learn, like, well, we'd all have to learn American Sign Language. No, it was not a coach's, it was not a coach's DNP to swarm. No, it was fine. 90 out of 1. Although, although the boss man, there's Franklin Cologne. The boss man, if he, if he got word from me, that was, that was still... Day to day, Bossman was prepared to hop into the hot seat. He was prepared. He was ready. He was like, I was getting warmed up in the bullpen, Joe. Just in case. No, I didn't, I didn't get it. No, it was it was the uh, the team trainers, the team trainers that said this guy can't go. And I was like, I can go, I I can go. No one no one wants germs on the hits, Joe. You can't go. I I can go. You can't go, Joe. What day is it, Joe? I uh, the days don't matter. All right, he's staying home. Chris Rodriguez, Angels. I was I was in I was in the protocol. One fifty four out of four ninety nine. Not quite the Angels pitches that D Mac was looking for, but a hit nonetheless. Yeah, I could I couldn't clear the protocol. <laughs> Do you know your name? Where are you? But Everyone would have known this if they have the Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland where we tweet out information like that. I 
told everyone to uh, adjust their fantasy group breaker lineup. Adjust their daily fantasy case breaker lineup. Cal Quantrill, Paul's kid, out of 150 blue paper for the Padres. That'll go to Tyler. All right, three boxes to go. We are a little over halfway there now. Still a lot of autographs to go. There's three in each box. We've got nine autographs to go, plus, um, plus whatever parallels there could be. So these are all good signs. There's still hope. Do not fall into despair just yet. Play to the whistle. Still got time. What else is happening in the baseball world? Game two of the doubleheader, the Blue Jays are tied with the Indians 2-2. I think we discussed some other scores. Dodgers beat uh, Diamondbacks 5-2. That was on Facebook. Did anybody watch that game on Facebook? How was it? Uh, Royals beat the Tigers 10-6. Yankees beating the uh, Astros 6-5. This is all May 3rd, 2018 scores. Braves 11-0 over the Mets. In the first game of the doubleheader, the Blue Jays edging out the Indians 13-11 in 11 innings. Nationals defeating the Pirates 3-1. In the top of the fifth, the Rangers ahead of the Red Sox 10-3. Oh, offensive explosion for the Rangers. That's in the top of the sixth. Uh, bottom of the sixth, the White Sox down a run to the Twins. Twins are leading 5-4, going to the bottom of the sixth. White Sox half of the frame. And then games warming up right now, Orioles and Angels going to get started soon, and the, those are your West Coast games, and then Oakland is at Seattle. The A's are in Marinersville. All right, and we are currently in Breaksville. So thanks for joining us, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's see what we got here. Paper, chrome. There's Khalil Lee out of 499 for the Royals. Speaking of the Royals, there you go. That KC card goes to Tyler. Chrome. And there's Otani paper. Next stack. And there's Harrison Bader. That's a nice rookie auto for Will Werner and the Cardinals. Rick saying that the Reds are on pace to win 37 games. Is that a true story? It's, it's rough times. Although, Rick, here's some good news for you. Using my using my win regression analysis that I found somewhere online, my my data shows that the Reds are going to win 62.113 games. Which is not, which is still not a good season, but but I'm projected to win 62 games, which is still the under. I I apologize, but I took the under on the Reds. The it was 70. The win total was 73 and a half.
There's DJ Peters, another Dodger. Another Dodger for Don. Nice. So two of three autographs from this box. Did the Cavs beat Toronto? I, have, I don't. I completely forgot that there was more basketball going. Basketball playoffs are so long. <laughs> I always end up second round. I go, oh yeah, there's more basketball after the first round excitement. That's crazy. One twenty eight to one ten. Sixers and uh, the Celtics are still keeping it close. Celtics ahead by a point in the third quarter. Crazy, just the, the Cavs just have, the Cavs just seem to have the Raptors number. Right? Johan Mais, 129 out of 250, purple paper. NT, speaking of basketball, folks, National Treasures Basketball coming out tomorrow. Don't sleep on, if you're, I know we're doing baseball right now, but if I can talk a little basketball for a second, do not sleep on that basketball. All season long, I've been telling everybody, don't sleep on the basketball. The basketball has great value, blah, blah, blah. Has great value. It's for the Dodgers. There's Chris Rodriguez again. Not, again, not quite the Angels pitcher that DMAC was looking for, but two autos of Chris nonetheless. Matt Olson to 250, purple paper, and Sam Howard to 125, chrome. And folks, we've got two boxes to go, six autographs to go. Who did I take in the Cavs game? Sometimes I, I am known, ladies and gentlemen, every once in a while, for entertainment purposes, we'll talk a little wagering. Rockies, uh, that'll be for Eric Rager, and A's, Matt Olson, that'll be for TJ. So I wonder who I took in this game. Was I was I a, a smart or was I a dumb? A sharp or a square? Usually I'm placing square bets. I'm definitely no no. I'm definitely no sharp, but um. Well, no, I was not. I I took I took Toronto money line. I don't know why I took Toronto money line. I must have been hopped up on cold medicine. I did take Cavs in the points. They were plus six and a half. Why did I do that and then not take them money line? Hmm. It's kind of silly, Joe. And I, I have Boston, actually. Why, why did I have Boston? I have Boston in this game. They are plus four. I feel like that's just... They're playing at home, right? I, I feel like if you're playing at home and you're getting points, I feel like it's kind of hard to pass up, right? I took Boston plus four in this one. And to win outright on the old ML, the old money line. I even, for, for S's and G's, I even said the game will go to overtime. I'm feeling good about that. That's a lottery ticket bet. There's no, there's no, I don't think there's a way to handicap that. All 
I've been I've been uh I've been a much better uh much better at wagering on baseball though. I had who did I have today? I had the Pirates, Blue Jays in game one, and the Rangers. I feel like I'm looking I'm looking pretty good. If I win two out of three of those. So I know the Blue Jays won game one, 13 to 11. That was unexpected actually. They came back on that. And then I had um the Rangers, who are up on the Red Sox 10 to 3, going into the bottom of the fifth. Started the season off terrible, though. I couldn't hit a game. At 499, Josh Ockamy. I guess there's more data now, so it's probably a little bit easier. Uh, speaking of the Red Sox, going to Tyler T. I know nothing of hockey, Tyler, or, or even wagering on it. Um, there's Francisco Mejia at 499 for the tribe. That goes to David Shaw. I have him in my minor league spot. Fantasy baseball. I'm hoping he gets called up. But I do know that Vegas is, is quaking in their boots, quaking in their skates, Vegas bookmakers are, because of the amount of money they could lose in Vegas Golden Knight futures. So the, so the bookmakers are actively rooting against the hometown team. Oh, bookmakers. Because if, if they win the West... I mean, they're going to lose their shirts if, I mean, in terms of hockey, they're, they're, going, they're going to make it up otherwise. They'll be fine, folks. Don't worry. Um, but they're going to lose their shirts hockey-wise if uh, they're Cedric Mullins, if the Vegas Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup, which I don't think is going to happen, but they're close enough that, 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 that it gets Vegas nervous. There's Cedric Mullins for the Orioles. That'll go to Karen. Hell, if they win the West... I'll put him in a in a hockey hole as well, which they've had a great home 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 ice advantage, which gets me excited about my Oakland Raiders, formerly my Los Angeles Raiders, going to Vegas because maybe that same Vegas flu type thing will apply, which is which are players coming into town, road players coming into town, maybe having a little bit of fun. A little too much fun. Could things get quickly out of hand in Vegas. And next thing you know, they're a little sluggish for the next day. So maybe that helps with the W's. Or at least the at least the point spreads. Although maybe Vegas will see what happened with the Golden Knights and they'll they'll overcompensate for that. <laughs> There's Luis Escobar, purple chrome for the Pirates. That'll be for Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain and his Pittsburgh Pirates. Speaking of hockey, folks, we've got some more upper deck ice in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, Upper Deck Ice in the store. And it doesn't say in the item description, but we do have more of those packs to give away. So there's there's a free pack giveaway in that Upper Deck Ice break as well, those same Overtime 3 packs from Upper Deck. Oscar Della Cruz to 125. That'll go to the Cubbies, EA with that one. Still looking for the last autograph out of this particular box, and then we've got three more in the last box. Unless there's bonuses, unless there's a bonus auto. Wow. Nice Victor Robles, Rookie of the Year, favorites gold. 16 out of 50. Woo. Now they, they just need to call him up. Come on, Nationals. Do the hobby a favor. Andrew K with that one.
That card is gold. It's a nice one, Andrew. I haven't called his number out all break. See? And right at the end. It's a strong one. Keep thinking those birthday cards are a parallel or have like they're like an orange parallel or something like that. They're not. Some no, sometimes they can be, but that one was not. Ah, Gliber Torres to two fifty, purple paper. He's called up now. It's kind of scary how how young and how talented that the that those Yankees are. All right. Last box coming up. Good luck, everybody. Andrew, you are welcome. Thank you for joining the break. Last three autographs. <laughs> Michael House is like, Yanks are all right. They're okay. Yeah, they're okay. Oh, there was that a 125? Oh. Yeah, that, that's just based on timing. In a long break like this, sometimes I say the names of the parallels, who gets the parallel, sometimes I don't. Autographs, I definitely do. That's where you want your number to be called anyway. You want you want your number to be called on that on that play. All right, last box, last three autographs, and a chance at a few more parallels. Last chance for everybody who didn't get a hit, or a chance for people who have hits to get even more. Either way, it's the last box. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> big boys double seven. Take the hate out of your out of my heart and hook him, hook him up. Hook big boys double seven up with a giant. No, hey, I always root. Listen, I, I may not I may not like the name on the front of the jersey, big boys double seven. But I like I do like the names attached to the left side of the teams. I'm always rooting for those guys. I'm always rooting for you guys, no matter how I feel about the team. I mean, there is Oppo Joe Mojo. It's a real thing. I've seen it happen. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box. Made some pretty good time on this. I think the clock says 55 minutes and 30 seconds right now. That's not bad. If I could get this around an hour, I'm happy with that. We've got Hunter Harvey out of 150. Blue Chrome for Karen and the Orioles. There's Edward Olivares. Edward going to uh, Michael Tran and the Blue Jays. There's an earthquake here, the, this tower of paper that's next to me here. There'll be a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? No earthquake, no earthquake, no earthquake.
Uh, NT basketball comes out tomorrow, John. So all NT breaks will happen mañana. Jaron Kendall, uh, Dodgers with a nice break. Don with the Dodgers. Let's, let's see if there's any Oppo Joe Mojo in this last with the last autograph coming up. So good luck to the Giants and good luck to everybody else. Quentin Holmes, two fifty for the Tribe. Last autograph's got to be in here somewhere. Is this it? No, that's Willie Calhoun. There's Mitchell White out of 499. And behind Bryce Harper is Edward Ol Edward again. Two Edwards in this box. This one's a refractor, though. And that goes to, it's another one for Michael and the Blue Jays. Had to wait till the very end, Michael, but here's a couple. 230 out of 499. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, nothing to randomize, nothing else to do. So thank you very much, folks. Um, I think we're out of jumbo. We are out of jumbo. We have more hobby though. So keep checking for that on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Maybe some jumbo in the future as well. Keep your, eye open, uh, your eyes open for that one too. Thanks everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.